Um, the event going on here is a sled dog race um, put on by Canadian American Sledders. Um, this race has been going on for about 28 years inside this park. Um, today's events hold anything from a mid-distance race, which we had teams go out about 28 miles in the morning, and then the afternoon will be sprint races. Um, our sprint races are four, six, and eight miles. Um, what we kind of figure out is one dog per mile. So if you have four dogs, you run four miles. <laughs> as far as racers, we have about 22 racers for this event today. And as far as spectators coming to watch, we really don't know yet. It's, it'll pick up in the afternoon for sure. This event right here pulls people in from all over the states, mainly local though. And we've had people from New Hampshire, Vermont, uh, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, Maryland, um, West Virginia. And we did have a team from New Jersey one year. It's been probably one of the best seasons so far. Um, our snow count has been up <laughs> significantly, um, and it's great. The weather's staying cold right now, which is good. We're not getting warms, and the sun's actually hiding today, so it's perfect. I've only been racing probably about seven or eight years. Well, I like dogs, and I like being out in the wintertime, so I just put the two together. you got to be committed. Yeah. Dogs are a lot of work. Mm -hmm. If you if you got 14, 15 dogs out in your dog yard, it's a lot of cleaning up and feeding and watering. A lot of repetitions. Yeah. The, the more hookups you get, the, the better they they perform for you. And, and you gotta put mileage on them gradually. You know, build up the miles. Like these guys here, my dogs couldn't do this. But I do the sprint races, which is like five, four, you know, four, five, six miles. This is one of the best races I've ever been to. It's beautiful trails here. This is our first year at Allegheny mm -hmm. State Park. We've had three race weekends in a row, including this one, and probably one or two more this season. I've heard very lovely things about the trails. This setup is, is beautiful for a race, especially um, a warming, <laughs> a place to get warm. Um, some weeks are pretty cold, and it's nice to have a place to get in and, and get warm. Um, but for us, the, the location is nice because it is only an hour and a half from home, so it's a, an easy one to come to. But we, I know we have people as far as Virginia, Maryland, and New Jersey here today. So, so people, it's a popular race, I think, too, because of how it's run. It's a little more laid back and relaxed, too. My two sons are the two that have been racing. I'm just support staff. <laughs> my, when I was 10, I got my first golden retriever, and I will admit to having her hooked to my red radio flyer sled and teaching her G and haw, but I would have never pursued this like we are now. Um, my son's second grade teacher followed the Iditarod with their class. And so from second through fourth grade, he did nothing but eat, sleep, breathe the Iditarod. And so finally, my husband and I decided we needed to get him some dogs. So we started with two dogs last year. He raced just with two dogs, and this year he's up to four. And he's done quite well. We were fortunate to find a mentor who had very good dogs that he was willing to share with us. So we did start with good genetics, and that, that makes a big difference. This is my second year. I started last October. My second grade teacher followed the Iditarod on place on the internet. I've got first place every race. It just shows how good you've been training. If you've been training good, you usually get first, second, or third. And even if you get last place, it's, you still just go out to have fun. Oh, the people make it fun. I mean, that's the dogs. The dogs are addictive, and then the people that you're with at races really make it worthwhile. Yeah.